Okay, here we're, we got our first roll done on this job of the Fox Box, and we're using HV clip, and I just want to show you quickly what I'm doing with them, and you'll see here, there's the joint line from the corner, that's the short leg, two ties on the short leg, and here we've got four ties on the long leg up the corner, this is an 8-inch block, and what I do is I put one HV clip to the inside face, I do one to the outside face as well, and the reason I do that on the first roll is that keeps this joint completely tight. I don't have to worry about my plastic ties bending and deforming at all. It gives me the strongest bond I can get. So I use two on the first row on every joint. If you walk along here, you'll see here's my next joint. I have two of them on there. It just holds everything. It locks it solid. You can get away with one. One is acceptable. I like to do two. Everybody's a little bit different. Okay, you'll see here we got a box of Fox Clips. And uh, I see a lot of guys, they make pickup sticks out of the whole deal. The trick is, you got your long leg here on my right hand side, you got the short leg on the left hand side. Might be the other way around in your box, but in this one, what I do is I always take the short side, I lift it up, and I pull it out, and I don't have pickup sticks. See here, I'll do it again. See, no big deal. I do it again. I got a little bit there, but really, you can just continue to do it. If you do it properly, you'll never have a tangled up box of fox clips. There's no reason for it. This is how you mark out. You can see I have a, a cut at the bottom that's 10 inches, then I have a 16 inch piece, then I have another 10 inch piece, and it's going to go like that all the way up to the top, and there's going to be a, a common joint all the way up, and I'm just going to put straps on both sides and pour concrete. It'll work really good. Okay, we're doing uh, stack seams here, vertical stack seams. We have uh, the interlock on the Fox block is two, two inches long, an inch wide. And with that, because it's a reversible block, that makes our offset four inches. Now we're using that to our advantage. It gives us a, an aggressive interlock, so it's gonna be strong during your pour and to hold things together. But what we do now is we work from the corners to a central point in the wall, preferably by a door or window, but it can be anywhere in the wall. And here we, we have an example of what we've done. They've actually spaced their footing dowels so it'll be at the center of all the cells in between the ties. Now they come to a central point, that's where they make their cut. The beauty of that is now the corners are exactly on the chalk lines, right where they need to be. They come to this spot, wherever they make their cut, it's going to be the same all the way up to the top of the wall. And with that, they get this common seam and then they just put a strap on, one strap per row. On this one, they put some spray foam in. A lot of guys don't even do that. You can just strap it and place concrete and it's great. This is bonus to put the, the spray foam in.